Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the Microsoft Alloc Error 0x8004015, where if the personal storage table file is not properly working, this tutorial will be hopefully able to resolve your issue. So we're going to jump into it, and the first thing we're going to do is open up the Start menu, left click on the Start button one time, type in CMD, Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that. And then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this elevated command line window, you want to go ahead and type in ipconfig. Exactly, it appears on my screen. So again, ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter on your keyboard, to run that, and then it should come back with successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Once you're done with that, close out of here. Once you're just restarting your computer, and hopefully that has resolved the problem. If you are still experiencing a problem here, you, you want to go ahead, open up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in programs. One of the best matches should come back with add or remove programs. Left click on that one time. Now on the right side you want to scroll down to get to Microsoft Office. And you want to select your Microsoft Office product. It might have a different name than this depending on what version of Office you're running. And you want to left click on modify. Left click on yes if you get a user account control prompt. And then it's going to ask how would you like to repair your Office programs. I would select quick repair, fix most issues quickly without the need for an internet connection. Left click on repair, and then left click on repair again. Shouldn't have any open office applications at this time. Without this run, this will take a couple minutes to run, so just please be patient. Okay, so once it's done repairing, it says we finished repairing your office programs and features. You can now close the window and use your programs. Close out of here. Try and reopen the Outlook application. And hopefully your issue has been resolved at this point. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.